Hi guys, I'm Trish uh, from Camp Week 2 um, and we're going to make the wind chime today. So you're going to want to get the string and twine that was sent to you in your boxes. Um, and you're also going to want to find a stick that will be long enough to serve as the base for your wind chime and collect maybe some other sticks of various sizes that will work to come like down along for your wind chime. We collected some rocks that could maybe bang together. Um, we have some string um, to go ahead and tie ours together. And um, we actually have some of these fake flowers laying around the house. Uh, we also have from our uh, some of our other various activities, the paint shirt painting. We thought maybe we would paint it whenever we were done. So we thought that would look kind of neat to have it different colors. You could use maybe some feathers, um, some beads or charms or anything that would make it make some clinky clanky noises that would maybe sound kind of cool whenever the wind blew. So anything you can think of, you're going to want to go gather up those supplies, get your sticks and any of the noisy things you want for your wind chime and collect it all up and get ready to make it. And now I'm going to turn it over to Kyle. So he's going to show you how to assemble your wind chime. Have fun. Hey campers, Kyle from Sibling Camp here. Today I'm going to be showing you how we're going to attach our materials to our stick. So as you can see, I've laid a newspaper out in case any of our outside uh, decorations have any dirt on them uh, that wasn't washed off already, as well as a few indoor objects that I'm going to attempt to attach. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. My objects might look a little different from yours, but that's perfectly fine. I'll be using a green string just because I like the color green and it matches my bandana. So to start, uh, how we're going to be attaching these objects with the string is by tying knots. And here's just a quick little tying knots 101. Hopefully you guys can see this. It's very similar to tying your shoe. You're gonna to wanna to make a loop-de-loop -loop like this, as you can see. Bring the string around and tuck it through that loop right in there. And then It'll make this sort of lasso. And if you pull it tight, it'll make that knot. So we're going to be tying that around various objects. I'll just take it through slowly in case it's hard to see. You're going to want to make your circle, cross it over, bring it through. There's your circle, and tie it tight. All right. So let's see how this goes. Just use your creativity and use the objects you have around you. Right now, I'm gonna use a stick. For some of the sticks that you use, try to look for like a groove, or in this case, it has little branches sticking out that I can tie the knot around. This way it'll prevent it, the string from coming up and from the uh, twig from falling off. So I'm gonna just wrap it around the twig a few times just to make sure it stays there. And like I said before, we're gonna make our lasso, pull your string through and place it over. Pull it tight and there we go. So whatever string you have left, you can go either direction. I'm gonna use this direction. It's just gonna depend on how, how far you want it to hang down from the stick. So, for mine, I'll just see how far I can get it around. I'm just gonna, again, wrap it around our main stick a couple times. Make my loop, kind of tough to see on the screen. Pull my string through and place it over the stick. So before you pull the knot too tight on your uh, larger stick, you're gonna, you can kind of adjust where you want the placement of this. So say I want it Go to the middle, just kind of have to pull it along, and come to the middle. And then when I, when I pull the string nice and tight, it'll be there. It's not coming off, it looks like a little uh, <laughs> fishing rod right now. But again, um, this is just as an example of a few things that you can do. Now I'm gonna attempt to do the leaf. I've already attached the string to this. 
since the leaf has kind of a lighter stem, if you just pull the knot tightly around the stem, it shouldn't come off. But if it does, that's all right. You can just reattach it. This time, I'm not gonna go over the end of the string. Loop it around a few times. You can make your knot while looped around. Pull your string through. Sometimes the string can be a little tricky. So just do some of your patience and try to get it to pull through. There we go. Not looking too bad. <laughs> Got my varying lengths of different objects. So for heavier objects, like a CD that I'm going to use, I'm going to try to tie like a couple knots around it just because I know with its weight, it'll break through just a single knot. We're feeling this might fall. No, well, looks like it's holding for now. See, uh, we'll see how that uh, knot holds up when I try to place it on the string. So again, same process for placing it on the string. Just measure out what length of string you want. I'm breaking it apart. Um, if you have trouble breaking the string, <clears throat> just ask a parent uh, and they'll know what's the best course of action. They might be able to break it for you. I guess I'm going to cut the string with. All right, it's holding. Let's go. There we go. Got a nice little reflector if the sun's coming through. As well as some nice greenery and some nice uh, tree <laughs> All right, uh, now I'm gonna try using a napkin, see if we can make something creative out of this. Um, maybe I can make like a little bird or, I don't know. Probably might not look like a bird to you, but we're just gonna have to use our imagination on this one. All right, so I'm gonna try just twisting it around. It's like, like that. Look at that. That's a bird if I've ever seen one. <laughs> it's coming together now. All right, uh, so for our final step now that we have our different objects attached. Basically, we're gonna to wanna to have a string that goes from one end to the other. I have to use blue because I seem to have lost my <laughs> green string. But you're gonna uh, want to have something that goes the length of your big stick and even uh, more length than that. I'd say about two lengths, but it just depends. This is gonna be what we're hanging the uh, wind chime off of. All right, that should be pretty good. Kind of tough to see the blue, but we're gonna go to one end of the wind chime to start. And wrap it around a few times. I would say like three or four times. Then this one, since it's holding it together, we're gonna do two, two knots. All right, there's two. And then I will take it all the way over to our other end. Wrap it around a few times, bring it around town, and stop. No, I'm good. All right, throw it through. Tie our first knot for our second knot. Eventually, you'll come out with this. You can make this again longer or shorter. I'd recommend going probably a little bit longer. But now, look, everything's held up except for I think we lost our straight our twig. <laughs> along the way, but that's how we tie everything together. Uh, we're going to be moving on to some decorations up next. See you guys. Hi guys, I'm Shannon. I have been a part of week one and week two for patient week the past two years. Um, and I'm doing the decorations part of the wind chime. So Kyle just showed you how to assemble the main stick and the little sticks. I'm about halfway done with that, uh, but I'm picking it up with this long string of rocks. So I'm going to show you how to do that and how I did it. I'm gonna take about an arm's length of rope. Um, it's a little longer than my string of rocks and you want extra string to be able to wrap it around the rocks. So the first thing that I did was I took about an arm's length of string. It's twice as long as my string of rocks, which is what I wanted. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the middle of this string and pull it so that two of the ends meet and the first rock will go in the bottom middle. So here's the bottom middle and then here are the two ends meeting evenly. Now I'm going to take my first rock and put it here. 
I'm going to wrap the string around the rock and then tie the two ends together at the top. Once you have the two ends tied together at the top, pull them in opposite directions and do the same thing on the other side of the rock. This will, uh, this will help keep it secured. You just have to pull the string really tight so it doesn't slip. To make sure this is extra secure, so you can see it just slipped off, I'm going to tie my knot attaching to this string. So the rock tying was not really working, so I only put one rock on. If you want to do a string of rocks, I highly suggest using wire. I also tied one of the little flower blossoms from the fake flowers that I had. And yeah, now I'm going to paint. Yay! When I was done painting, I took my wind chime and I hung it up to dry. Whenever you do your wind chimes, you can add anything you want, like beads, feathers. Kyle added a CD. He made a bird, which was awesome. Um, have full creative freedom with it. I just did painting, rock, and flower, but you can do anything with your wind chime. I can't wait to see how they turned out, so please post them on the Facebook, and I'll post my finished product as well. That's it for now, guys. Bye!